Kia ora, my name is Parry Guilford. I'm a cancer genetic researcher from the University of Otago. This project was one which started off in about 1994 when a large whānau from the Bay of Plenty realised that their very high rate of stomach cancer in their family was caused by a gene and not by a curse. I'm, I'm Maybelle McLeod. I was a nurse in Nelson. My cousin had died. She was my age at the time. She was 28 and I came back and just thought something wasn't right. They could see in their whānau that there was something happening, that they didn't have the expertise themselves to fully understand. So that's when they contacted Harry Guilford from the University of Otago. It was quite a long process. We were interviewed several times. They didn't really like the look of me. I was a bit too young. Fortunately, after you know, numerous cups of tea, we managed to kind of reach a consensus and really built a relationship which was purely, in my view, based on trust. It was over 100 people volunteered for this within maybe a year and a half, it was discovered. So by using linkage analysis followed by DNA sequencing, we're able to show that a gene called CDH1 was the cause of cancer in this family. People who have a mutation in the CDH1 gene are recommended to have a total gastrectomy, which means to have their entire stomach removed. The gastrectomy is actually a, it's a big operation and it's a difficult operation for patients. However, it is the only chance of cure or prevention of getting stomach cancer. Well, I bring to this project uh, the experience of being someone with the CDH1 gene who has had a gastrectomy 13 years ago. And at that time there was barely any information out there about how to best support Māori whānau going through this process. And so I've come down the middle to kind of join uh, those two sides together a little bit more and incorporate Māori knowledge, te reo, tikanga, to provide better services and care. I think what we do isn't rocket science in, in Māoridom. We, we do what we do like we would do it on a marae. We, we cater for the whole whānau. And so the clinical teams have been really great about embracing how we like to work. And so in that sense, it's been really great. We estimate that in New Zealand, there are about 400 to 450 people whose lives have been saved by an endless mutation. In Europe and the US together, probably around about 27,000 people will have had their lives saved in the next few years. So it's, it's a story which has gone from you know, one small whānau Māori just outside Tauranga to a global story affecting thousands and thousands of people. And it's been, for me, an utter privilege to be part of this for most of my, my working life. People think it's unfortunate that you get the gene, but today I heard, no, it's not unfortunate. It's, it's fortunate because we know and we know how to deal with it. Mm -hmm.